everyone and thank you so much for watching welcome to my channel I'm going to do you my pregnancy Q&A uh, I'm gonna tell you the honest truth when I was pregnant I watched so many YouTube videos and I feel like people don't really talk about it like for real do you know what I mean tell you the real truth so um, giving birth being pregnant is one of the most natural thing our, our bodies were basically designed to do that so uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you the real, raw truth. Anyway, I got online this necklace, which is supposed to be Sasha in Arabic, but um, as I ordered it online and I don't know how to write Arabic, it could mean absolutely anything. I don't know if it means banana milkshake. So if you are Arabic, can you tell me if this is, means Sasha? So I asked you on Instagram a while back, um, what did you want to know? And uh, I'm going to answer the questions right now. How long did it take you to get pregnant? Basically, uh, I got pregnant by surprise. I was not expecting to get pregnant right now. I was with my fiancé for a while and I knew I wanted a child from him, but I just didn't want it at that moment. But uh, as the situation was kind of like perfect and it just happened, we obviously decided to uh, keep the child because I didn't see my life with anyone else than him and uh, yeah I just thought it was amazing and I obviously do not de regret my decision um, so yes I did not try to get pregnant and um, I do understand that a lot of women today struggle getting pregnant it's just like our modern life that is made so that uh, it's hard for us to get pregnant after 30 and before 30 people are trying to get a career well, luckily, I never wanted a career, so uh, I could have a child quite quite early. I uh, had Victoria when I was 26 years old, so now she is three. Like the pregnancy curve, basically, you're the mo most fertile at 20, and from 20 it goes like this to 30, and from 30 it just goes down like this. I know a lot of people who struggle to get pregnant, so I just wanted to tell you good luck if you are in this situation. Yeah. Then someone said, talk to us about your experience. I had an amazing experience being pregnant. I absolutely loved it. Uh, how to say, it's just such a strange feeling. Uh, first of all, um, wait, I'm gonna have a bit of caffeine because I'm struggling. Okay, so for me, it was a great experience. Uh, I worked out my whole pregnancy. I didn't really have anything uh, bad. Uh, how to say? It's just that like life is different because you obviously live for your child. I was really, really careful about what I was eating. I was working out. Um, I was really feeling happy and relaxed, strangely. And uh, I don't, the only thing I remember is that uh, in the beginning I had headaches, really bad headaches. And you cannot take much med medicine when you're pregnant, so it's a little bit annoying. And what I remember too is that I had horrible nausea in the beginning, in the first trimester. And actually I vomited one time, I don't know. But all in all, I really, really had a great pregnancy. Uh, my doctor was really like surprised. He was thinking that I really had the perfect pregnancy. He told me if like, yeah, you have the most perfect pregnancy ever. So this video is gonna be a very, very good experience. How many pounds did you gain? Victoria is such a beautiful child. Thank you. So Victoria is obviously the name of my daughter. Uh, I gained uh, 11 kilograms. I don't know how much is in pounds. I'm gonna tr uh, transfer it and put it here. So guys, by the way, if you have other questions, ask them in the down bar below and I will do a part two to this video. So yeah, I gained 11 kilograms. Keep in mind that my doctor wanted me to be on a diet. By diet, I don't mean a restrictive diet, but to count my calories, to see if I had enough protein. So I was really eating really, really healthy. And my doctor was telling me that the worst mistake you could do is go on food when you are pregnant and eat more than you need. Keep in mind that a child only need, you, pr you pretty much have to put your calorie intake of 300 calories. 300 calories is a salad with dressing. Mo more than what you eat usually. So 
people who take a lot of weight when they are pregnant usually massively regret it. I don't have a single stretch mark. And also keep in mind that it's not good for the baby to gain too much weight. Your baby is going to be too big. And if you eat too much sugar when you're pregnant, uh, your child can actually get diabetes. So uh, that's not amazing. People who say like, eat what you want, you're pregnant, it's once in your life. Actually, I was more careful when I was pregnant than when I'm not pregnant, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I took 11 kilograms and yeah. <laughs> so symptoms and how was your diet and how did you get your body back? Okay, so uh, how was my diet? So I was eating really, really carefully. I was tracking my macros with LifeSum. I was eating 2000 calories per day. Uh, I remember that the only two things that I was craving was Diet Coke and um, ice cream. So the doctor said that I could have one Diet Coke and one ice cream a day, but not after 4 uh, p.m. So I was eating very healthy apart from these two things that he said I could have one a day of each. So yeah, I was really strict with myself and I was working out all the time. Symptoms, as I told you, like I only had nausea and uh, headaches. Other, other than that, it was like normal life. And it's true that you think a little bit differently. I don't know how to explain it. It's a little bit strange. It's like you're on drugs. Yeah, I don't know, I was like quite relaxed. I wasn't really anxious at all. I don't remember, I remember being very happy when I was pregnant. But you know what was so annoying to me? When people were like, uh, oh my God, you're pregnant, you look so pretty, you're, gro you're glowing from within. I was like, bitch, I'm wearing full coverage foundation. How do you wanna see my glow? Like, this is so annoying. Please don't tell to pregnant women that they glow because it's not a compliment for me. I don't know, it was just annoying. This is really random, but it was really, really annoying me when people were telling me that I was glowing from within, when I had full coverage foundation. How did I get my body back? Keep in mind that I love, I am one of the people who love to prove wrong to people. I was seeing in people's faces when I told them that I was pregnant, that they were already happy for me to get fat. And I wanted to prove them wrong, so I basically, after I gave birth, worked out like crazy keep in mind that uh, you should not work out you should go to a uh, doctor to um explain to you how to work out because once you have a child you don't you cannot work out like you worked out before so you have to know how to do the exercises like it's called the zipper exercise in french it's basically like contracting your muscles and exercises you have to do down there also um how i get my body back down there after birth um you quite struggle like it's not like before straight away but after if i'm not mistaken two months i went to my gynecologist for a check was it three months maybe three months i don't know and he told me that imagining that my vagina was five out of five before uh it recovered to four and a half he said you you look like you never had a child but he said it's also very rare that it happens like that. So yeah, I recovered down there pretty well. And how did I get my body back? I literally got my body back better than it was before that I got pregnant. I got skinnier than before that I got pregnant in like three months as well. Um, I really wanted to prove everyone wrong and I really wanted like to bounce back very quickly and yeah, I managed. I literally was working out all the time and starving myself. If I can just put it in, in there, one thing that I did not like about pregnancy at all, like obviously I encourage people to do it, but I really hated it. And it ruined the experience with my child a little bit in the beginning. It was uh, giving my milk. I did not like it. And if I would have a second child, I would do it for a week and then just drop it. With Victoria, I did it for a month and I really, really struggled. It was really, really painful. It was bleeding. It's really, really annoying to do it. Like, it's super annoying. It's, it's just the most, to me, it's just the most horrible thing ever. But I know that a lot of women actually enjoy breastfeeding, but I just don't get the vibe at all because to me, it's something that I don't like at all. And literally, I feel like you should do it 
because it's the best thing for your child and cow milk is bad for your child like is not as good as your milk not even 10% as good obviously they do like it's a replacement your child may be fine maybe not but I feel like you should do it because it's what's naturally supposed to be done yeah and I also did not get any stretch marks keep in mind that I was really self-cautious about it my middle section it's what I like the most in my body I got it kind of back but it doesn't go back a hundred percent like for example before my pregnancy I had no clue how people were saying telling me that they were bloated and I had no clue what bloat, bloated meant. like I had no idea they were talking about being bloated and I was like mm -hmm. pretending I knew what it was but I had absolutely no clue what was bloating and now I know unfortunately because I feel like my abs were so strong that the the bloating just didn't happen and uh, uh, also something that I never heard of and I knew I discovered when I was pregnant is um, cramps my uh, calves were cramp cramping so bad like I'm not joking and in the middle of the night is it was waking me up and I was shouting like it was so painful then the doctor gave me magnesium and it went down better should men be there with their wives when they are giving birth okay so um i think unless it's not your child yes because uh honestly my fiance i don't i don't know look i think during the birth yes i think your fiance should be like your fiance husband should be with you uh, and um i don't think he should watch what's happening down there just because He's gonna how your vagina is a sexual thing for your husband. And seeing your baby coming out of the vagina can be, I think, quite traumatic. I'm not sure. If you have another experience than me, tell me in the comments below. I would absolutely love to know it. But uh, my fiance was next to me, and I don't think he was that traumatized because when people ask, oh, how how was how was your wife's birth? I the only thing he says he remembers is like oh it was so annoying i had to sleep on a cold floor he doesn't remember that they missed my epidural for six times uh and for the birth uh well birth i don't know if i want to talk talk about birth um i can tell you something good about birth so look i'm someone anxious who work myself up very really easily like literally from something small i can make something huge not anymore, but before I was like that. At 26 year, years old, I was like that. Now I'm not like that anymore. So imagine during six months with no alcohol, how I could work myself up for birth. I was so anxious of giving birth. But at the moment when it's happening, when it's there, you don't have time to really freak out. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. When it comes, you don't have time to freak out. You just want everything to be fine. Uh, I don't imagine that while you're suffering from contractions or uh, when there is doctors around you, you're distracted. You're too distracted to be anxious, in my opinion. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't imagine like doing a panic attack or anything when you give birth. So yeah. And uh, yeah, I think uh, obviously the men should be there. But I... After it's your choice, I think it's really down to personal preferences. Uh, I have definitely a lot more to say about pregnancy, but... Um, oh yeah, did you have a C-section? This is the last question I'm going to answer today. And leave me all your questions in the down bar below. I'm going to do a part two. No, I did not have a C-section. <laughs> I gave birth naturally from down there. Keep in mind that uh, I was quite lucky. I didn't have to do anything special um my daughter came out she was three kilograms she came out uh i just uh i'm just gonna tell the truth as i told you in the beginning of the video so what is happening a lot and can happen to you and also one of the reasons i was freaking out is that they can cut you basically so here is your vagina here is your anus and they cut you here 
for the baby to come out. They didn't have to uh, do that for me, but um, one of my inner lips just got a little pull, like it pulled, so I had to have two stitches. So it's absolutely nothing and no one can ever notice it, not that I show my vagina to everyone. This is a little bit too much information, if you like. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me if you have other questions in the down bar below. Let me just tell you that uh, it's an amazing experience to be pregnant. I absolutely loved it. It's absolutely magical to give birth. Like, yeah. And seriously, go for the epidural. <laughs> go for the epidural. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I usually talk more, more about perfumes, beauty and fashion, but yeah, a lot of people requested this video because some of my subscribers are pregnant right now. And uh, yeah, hope I helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on my Instagram because I often do Q&As and you can ask me questions there. And see you in my next video. Bye.